What's up guys, Brad here. In this video, I'll be reviewing the SVS Prime Center and Bookshelf speakers. Are these speakers a good starting point for a multi-channel system? And more importantly, how do they sound? Let's find out. Before we get started, I do want to thank SVS for letting me borrow the Prime Center and Prime Bookshelf speakers in order to review them. They didn't sponsor this video though, and they didn't pay me anything and had no involvement in the production of this review other than sending the items to me. My opinions are my own and are based on my personal experiences with these speakers. If you're interested in the speakers talked about in this review, as well as other SVS speakers and subwoofers, I'll leave links in the description below. Also, if you're new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button as I post new home theater and gaming related content every single week. And if you'd like to help support the channel for free, consider using my Amazon affiliate links, which you'll also find in the description below. With all that out of the way, let's get this review started. In terms of overall tech specs, I have to say I'm pretty impressed in what you get for the price. The Prime Center is a true three-way speaker, rocking a one-inch aluminum dome tweeter, a three-and-a-half-inch mid-range driver, and two five-and-a-quarter-inch drivers with a frequency response of 48 hertz to 25 kilohertz. Around the back of the speaker, you'll find dual one-inch wide flared ports, as well as a standard set of five-way binding posts. It's 7.7 .7 inches high, 18.6 inches wide, and 9.2 inches deep with the speaker grill attached and weighs about 20 pounds. Moving over to the Prime Bookshelf speakers, these are a two-way speaker and feature the same one-inch aluminum dome tweeter as found on the Prime Center, as well as a single 6.5-inch woofer and a frequency response of 48 hertz to 25 kilohertz. Around the rear of the speaker, you have a single one 0.7 inch wide flared port and again a standard set of five-way binding posts. The Prime bookshelves each stand at 13.3 inches high, 8 inches wide, and 10.3 inches deep with the grill attached and weigh in around 16 pounds each. Considering how heavy these are, you can tell right away that these are extremely well built with solid construction. Both the Prime Center and Prime Bookshelves, along with all the other speakers in SVS's Prime lineup, have an extra thick tapered front baffle. According to SVS, this helps in keeping sound staging precise with minimal edge diffraction, and I'd say that's a pretty accurate claim. Both speakers use premium grade components for their crossovers and drivers, and also have the same pin cup retention system for the speaker grill as all the other SVS products I've ever reviewed. The speaker grill itself features the same hard plastic frame and cloth as their other speakers and is extremely rigid and sturdy. The speakers are available in two separate finishes, Premium Black Ash and Piano Gloss Black, with the Piano Gloss Black finish on the bookshelves being $50 more per speaker and the center being $100 more. This is really down to personal preference, and as sexy as a Piano Gloss Black finish looks in videos and pictures, it's a fingerprint and dust magnet that my OCD goes crazy over. They probably have a medication for that now that I think about it. Since both speakers have five-way binding posts, this makes setup easy and simple with pretty much any type of speaker wire. Now, I use banana plugs mainly because when I review speakers, it makes swapping them out quick and easy, plus they look clean. You can also use spade connectors or just the bare wire if that's your preference. And since these are 8 ohm speakers, the majority of receivers out there should have no problems driving them. For reference here, I'm using a Denon X2300W, and I have zero issues powering these plus the Prime Pinnacle Tower speakers, even if set to full range. I do want to mention that the bookshelf speakers don't have any type of mounting system on the back, such as a keyhole mount, so if you're planning on mounting them to the wall or ceiling, your mounting options will be limited. Since each speaker weighs about 16 pounds, this makes sense, but I thought it was worth mentioning. If wall or ceiling mounting is an absolute necessity, then you may want to consider looking at the Prime satellites or Prime elevations. Before I tested out either the center or bookshelf speakers, SVS initially sent out only the Prime pinnacles for review. As I mentioned in that review video, at the time I was running my own center and rear surround speakers, which are the Andrew Jones Pioneers. Those weren't a good match for the pinnacles at all, largely due to the fact that the Pioneers used soft dome tweeters, and more importantly, were not timbre matched at all to the Prime pinnacles. The reason I mention this is when I plugged the Prime Center and Bookshelf speakers up, I was instantly floored at just how massive of an upgrade they were over the Pioneers. This wasn't just down to the timbre matching either. In listening closely to the center channel, dialogue and effects were suddenly crystal clear and had impact when needed, even in movies that have well-known issues with dialogue clarity such as Interstellar and The Dark Knight Rises. I could actually make out Bane's voice much more clearly than ever before, which is a big plus in my opinion. The center was much harder to gauge in video games as many of them, like Call of Duty for example, don't use the center channel at all and instead have everything being pumped through the left and right channels. 
However, checking out Assassin's Creed Valhalla and Immortals Phoenix Rising, which do use the center channel for dialogue, character movement, as well as other effects, the improvement in overall clarity and crispness was, again, an instant and massive upgrade. And since the center is timbre matched to the pinnacles, sounds that would pan across the front soundstage, like a weapon swing, for instance, sounded seamless and more like you were using three of the same speaker for the fronts instead of a different size center channel. For the Prime bookshelves, I initially used them as my rear surrounds, and just like the Prime Center, they were a huge upgrade over the speakers I typically use. As rears used in a multi-channel setup, they sound rich, full, and have excellent directionality. Bass response is amazing as well, though in my case, a bit too accentuated because I have them right up against the side walls. A little EQ reduced this overbearing bass and really made the speakers shine, as did crossing them over at 80 hertz. I did also use the Prime bookshelves as my front left and right speakers and was honestly amazed at how big the sound was coming out of them. They legit sounded like speakers twice their size and actually give my Pioneer Tower speakers a run for their money. They sound great when ran at full range for music and bass is pretty insane for a smaller bookshelf speaker, but they really open up a bit more when crossover between 60 and 80 hertz and a subwoofer fills in everything below. In the end, are the prime center and bookshelf speakers worth the money? With the performance and sound quality you get out of them, I would definitely say they are worth considering. If you're just getting into home theater and have the budget, or if you're looking to upgrade from some entry-level speakers, I'd highly recommend looking into them. And honestly, the Prime Bookshelves and Prime Center are a great starting point for a multi-channel setup if you don't have the budget for all your speakers just yet. You can then add a subwoofer and either two more bookshelves or something like the Prime Towers when you have the funds to do so. That's definitely not a bad place to start and is similar to what I did when first starting out in the home theater hobby. Overall, they're a huge improvement and upgrade over my entry-level speakers, and I'll be super bummed when I have to ship them back, but that's just the way things go sometimes. Again, if you want to check them out, links are in the description below. If you enjoyed this review and found it helpful at all, please give this video a big thumbs up as it lets me know you appreciate this type of content. If you have any questions about the Prime Center or Bookshelf speakers, leave a comment below and I'll try to get to it if I can. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one where I try to find out if they still make Wonder Wheels. And what? And what?